What's going on guys, Andrew Pilikaki here back with another video. Thought I was done making videos today as I just recorded five videos for both my channels, but the Leafs decided to make a move. Now, uh, this is something that I think some people were begging for and some people were expecting. Uh, this is kind of a little bit of a surprise to me, but uh, again, it, it kind of sucks for Michael Hutchinson who has been waived. Now, this is something that I'm, I'm going to say to a lot of people. There's been a lot of Dubas hate right now for the whole backup goaltender situation and how he's handled it over the past couple years. But I will remind you guys that backup goaltenders and goalies in general don't grow on trees. And you're not always going to find some amazing backup that's just going to lead you to the promised land. Because the Curtis McElhinney story was great. It, it was fantastic. But if you're telling me that any GM in their right mind would keep Curtis McElhaney, who was in his late 30s, over the AHL Goalie of the Year in Garrett Sparks, who is an up-and-coming goalie who was absolutely killing it in the AHL, you're ridiculous. Because that decision would have been made by a lot of people, and it was the right decision. But at now, looking back at it, of course, McElhaney played a little bit better than Sparks did. Sparks was not good for the Leafs. But that decision was a tough one for Dubas. Then you, you move on and you, you get a guy like Michael Hutchinson after, you know, excuse me, the spark situation doesn't work out. And if you look at the numbers that Hutchinson put up last year for the Leafs, they weren't as bad as people are saying they were. Last year for the Leafs, in five, in five games played, he had a 2.64 goals against and a 914 save percentage, which is good. Those are, those are good numbers for him. And that was good enough for what the Leafs needed. They, they needed just a guy that could fill in and make stops for them. And he did that in five games. So that this whole notion that Hutchinson has been terrible the whole time he's been with the Leafs is a little bit ridiculous. And it also makes zero sense because he played quite well for them last year. Uh, this year, he's had some unlucky back-to-back -back games where he's facing the better team. And I hate to tell you guys this, but that's not a Dubas problem. That's a Babcock problem. He plays our best goaltender in the first game of a back-to-back -back and then plays our, our second-best goalie, our backup, against better teams in the league it makes absolutely no sense uh it, it's a it's a loser mentality and hutchinson should never be playing against better teams it should be uh freddie anderson now here here's here's the thing that'll never change babcock has his ways and it's it's killed michael hutchinson here because this year he's got a 4.44 goals against and an 879 save percentage and he's probably on his way to be the starting goaltender for the toronto marlies which means that the Leafs need a new goaltender to be the backup, but it's expected that Casimir Kaskisuo is going to be the new backup for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Now, this year for the Marlies, he's been insane. The Marlies are an amazing team. In eight games played, his a 2.13 goals against average and a .928 save percentage. So he is he's absolutely incredible, but you can expect he's going to come up here and be dynamite. You just have to hope that he is. And... I think that he will get the job done. He's 26, so it's not like he's some young guy where you're hoping that he won't be too nervous. I think that Kaskasua will do a fine job. I actually think he will work out as the backup. If you watch Marley's highlights, if you watch Marley's games, he seems composed. He seems like a really good goaltender. But um, I hope that if this is the option, because again, it's not confirmed, but guys like Bob McKenzie and I think Myrtle, the guy who does, James Myrtle, who does a lot of stuff for the Leafs, said that uh, this this should be the replacement, which, I mean, I kind of expected that anyways because the Leafs don't have the, the assets necessary uh, in terms of cap dollars to go out there and get a, a really good backup unless they shed salary, which they should have been, they should have traded Cody Ceci by now, in my opinion. Then you can replace him with a $2 million defenseman and probably pick up uh, a, a good backup goalie for just over a million bucks and you'd be fine. But the Leafs don't want to do that right now because... I don't know. To be honest with you, I think Babcock likes Cody Ceci. I think he's brutal. But again, uh, this is the goaltending stuff. I think Kaskasua will do a good job. But again, Michael Hutchinson has allowed some crappy goals. He's had a couple bad games this year. Let's let's be real here. But at the same, in the same token, he's also been handed a crappy hand. He really has. He's been handed these back-to-back -back assignments against better teams, and he hasn't been able to get the job done. The Leafs have played poorly in front of him at times this year. They've played poorly in front of Freddie Anderson this year. And you can't expect the backup to get it done all the time. 
and hopefully Cascasuo can do a better job because the Leafs need to start winning some games or else they're going to find themselves on the outside looking in. So again, this is just the update right now. If they do acquire a goaltender, I'll have to make a video on it, but for now it looks like Cascasuo will be the backup for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Hutchinson will likely be the starter for the Toronto Marlies going forward. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick update. If you're new, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video or stream. Peace.